everyone, and welcome to Lima Central Catholic High School, where tonight the homestanding birds welcome in the Shawnee Indians. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Frank Kill and our entire WSN crew. Frank, we take a look at the matchup tonight. Shawnee comes in at 5-3, LCC at 5-0. Oh. LCC's flying high. Shawnee's 1-4-5. This is going to be a dandy. Oh, it's going to be a great game. And, and the great thing about this is that we, I was able to watch this, you know, just four weeks ago at the tip-off classic. So, you know, what will each team do differently? You know, obviously for LCC, I thought they did a great job the first time that they played them for 32 minutes. You know, Shawnee probably didn't play their best basketball. But it'll be interesting to see how Beckett Berkey tonight responds because last time I thought uh, LCC did a really good job of kind of containing him. But recently, you know, Beckett Berkey's had a couple 30-point games. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how both of these teams make adjustments, you know, this this part of the season. Let's take a look at LCC. As I said, they're 5-0, and offensively averaging 58 a game. But, Frank, they're making their money with their defensive effort. They're only giving up 39 points a game. You know, having a relationship with Coach Powell and talking to him you know, very often, you know, he wants the whole team's under 40, and I think he prides more in the defensive end than he does scoring points. So, you know, seeing these guys, you know, last week, you know, playing Van Wert, you know, they really they took pride in, in stopping them and getting stops and, and obviously then turning that into transition. So, you know, for Shawnee, you know, they've been doing a really good job of putting the ball in the basket and getting great minutes from everybody that comes in. So, you know, both coaches have their, their philosophy, but it'll be interesting to see. Here we are to finish up the, the 23 part of the season. Coach, you've, you've been in games like this where you've played someone earlier in the year. Is there an advantage for LCC that they've got to win already, or is there an advantage for Shawnee that they're trying to exact maybe a little revenge? And I don't know that revenge is the word this early in the season. Well, absolutely. You want to have that redemption factor because, you know, if, if you watched any of that tip-off game, LCC got away with the win because they, you know, they got a defensive stop down the stretch and then obviously was able to put it away with a, a Carson Parker rebound and steal an and one. But, you know, both teams right now, this is a this is a bragging rights game. A lot of these kids, you know, obviously know each other. Their families across the across the gym from each other. So, you know, when it comes to this type of basketball, you always want to get a big win against Shawnee or a big win against LCC. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight's game. For the visitors from Shawnee High School, they come in at 5-3, 1-0 in the WBL. They'll start zero. Trevor, Ber excuse me, Trevick Berkey, a 6-5 guard. He's a freshman at six points a game. Number two, Nick Pachon, a 6-3 guard. He's a senior, 9.1 a game. Number four, Dominic Lynch is a six-foot guard senior. He's averaging 11.3 a game. Beckett Berkey is 6'4 forward. He's a sophomore. He's the leading scorer for this team at 21.4 a game. And number 34, Alex Goldsberry, a 6'3 post, averages five points a game. For the LCC Thunderbirds, they're led by zero Jordan Pretty, a sophomore guard at 14.3 a game. Number one, Willie Foster is a sophomore guard at 9.5. Number two, the quarterback, Carson Parker, a senior at eight points a game. Number five, Damar Foster is a senior at 8.8 a game. And number 14, Billy Burke, is a senior forward at 7.4 a game. Frank, we take a look at both of these teams and uh, just down the road, these kids know each other from summer basketball. Most of them are related to each other, and they all are good friends. It's got to play a factor somewhere. Oh, it definitely does. I mean, and, and that's the thing you talk about being friends. I mean. These kids have been playing basketball against each other for a long, long time. And, you know, if your if you're kids like Carson Parker and Billy Burke that have played in this game for four years, you know, the last thing they want to do is, is lose this Shawnee game because they got a really big game coming up on Saturday to lose that momentum. So, you know, every kid that steps on this floor has got, got a, a little rivalry with somebody that's out there with each other. Frank, is there is does either one of these teams have a major advantage? or It's a pretty evenly matched game. No, it's very evenly matched. I mean, obviously, Shawnee's got size. LCC's got size. LCC's got quickness. Same thing with Shawnee. So both teams are, are evenly matched. Obviously, the records don't show it. But tonight, we're going to have a really good game. And the Berkey brothers are sophomore and a freshman. A little bit of youth on the uh, floor tonight. <laughs> one reason I stepped down from that's why I didn't want to coach the Berkeys for another four years. <laughs> Their dad, Nick, sits on the uh, Shawnee bench. And those two young men great are guy. a talented player. He is a fantastic coach and a great guy, too. So LCC controls the tip. We are underway here from Lima Central Catholic. Danny Holbrook, Frank Kill in this non-league battle between these neighborhood rivals. This is Billy Burke. He'll drive to the rim, sticks it up, and he scores. Great job with Billy Burke. Didn't take the jump shot, gave the lane, and then finished around the rim. Good start for Billy Burke. Birds lead 2-0 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapaka Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Here comes Shawnee right back down to the paint. Rebound comes down to Burke. He'll outlet it out. He'll bring it down himself. 
look for the man. Bring it to the right side. This is Foster up the middle. Ball goes awry. Corralled by the Indians. Great, great job by Shawnee by not fouling there, just you know, walling up and, and playing good defense. Shot goes up and it's good. We're 2-2 two -two on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard. Dominic Lynch was not going to be denied that layup there. You see number two, Carson Parker out there, the All-State quarterback. There's a three ball from the right side, off the mark. Rebound comes down. Rebound corralled by Beckett Berkey, the 6'3 forward. He's the leading scorer on this team. He'll swing it to the right side. Lynch with the ball, takes the shot up, and it's good. Number four, Dominic Lynch, the six-foot guard, knocks in the 12-footer, and the Indians lead 4-2. Dominic Lynch, again, just kind of used his size right there over Willie Foster. <laughs> and there you see Carson Parker, the same shot on the opposite end. Carson Parker, he's got the whole toolbox, does he not? Both quarterbacks, too. <laughs> That's right. You're exactly right. <laughs> you know, uh, it's I, really good to see Carson get, get himself going. Between him and Billy, getting that inside presence, so... Good job uh, for Carson, you know, taking it down low. I had that first game of the year between uh, Shawnee and LCC in football, the game dominated by the Birds. There's the rebound by Carson Parker. You know, Carson 6'4", Billy 6'6", out there. You know, they're both aggressive around the rim. You know, Shawnee's getting some really good looks right now, going to the basket, but just obviously can't convert right there. But, you know, both teams are really want to, they want to get off to a good start to start this first quarter. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. There's a three-pointer from the right side. Goes off. Carson Parker corrals that one. He'll take it to the left side. He throws up the three-pointer. It goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Lynch. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Well, that's uh, three missed threes by, by LCC. Try to keep going inside. There's Pashan with a three from the left side. Ball goes out to the top. Pashan corrals it himself. He's going to kick it out left. Here's Lynch from the left side. And three ball is good. Dominic Lynch with the triple. And there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth with 5.36 to go. The Indians lead 7-4 on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School where with 5.36 to go, Dominic Lynch leads LCC 7-4, coach. Not bad for a kid, you know, <laughs> averaging, you know, you know, little, just a little over 11. So, great start for Dominic Lynch and the Shawnee Indians. So here come the birds down 7-4. There's a jumper from the foul line, and it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down, corralled by Beckett Berkey, and he'll get it back out to Lynch. You know, those shots by Jordan Pretty right now, those are good shots for him. Those are, I mean, he scored 20 points last week against Bass. So, you know, he's a scorer, and he's going to look to keep shooting. Jordan averages 14.3 a game, the sophomore guard. Outstanding job on the offensive end. Boy, I thought we were going to see maybe a foul called there. Nothing called Great there. Great no call. Yeah, here come the birds. Here comes Willie Foster. Gets it out to Parker, and he hammers it Boom! down. Shaka Laka. <laughs> Woo! Are you kidding me? Carson Parker says, that's my shot, boys. Billy Burke with a big rebound, and here come the birds down 7-6. to six. They'll outlet the ball. This is Willie Foster as he goes to the rim, and they're going to get a foul on the floor on Dominic Lynch. You know, Carson's been able to kind of get around the rim. I've watched him for years. Last week had a little roll in, grab the rim. <laughs> That's a thunderous dunk right there by the senior. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You'll see that on replay. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is the Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Union Bank is our instant replay sponsor. There's a three ball from the right side, and it's good. Are you kidding me? The Birds down seven to four at the timeout. Come back nine seven. Willie Foster with a triple. Well, Willie had his feet nice and set up there on that out of bounds. Shawnee just did a poor job of finding him. Here come the Indians down nine to seven. There's a three ball from the top, off the mark. Corralled by the Indians. Berkey takes it back in, and he's going to get a foul right under the rim. And they're going to get, let's see, that is number one, Willie Foster on the foul. You know, Willie, you know, he was kind of caught in no man's land there. You know, block him or foul him. And unfortunately, um, you know, Beckett Berkey here, strong around the rim. He's going to get himself some two free throws. So Beckett Berkey will go to the rim. Coach, I'm going to ask you, because I ask all my partners that do games with me, what's your thoughts on the new free throw rule? I love it. You know, I've seen a lot of the free throw situations has been down. A lot of coaches don't like it because they miss that one and one kind of you know intense sure, you know sure. moment. But it, it, I love the reset in the second and fourth quarter because my team's fouled all the time. So <laughs> starting over is good. <laughs> so Berkey knocks in a pair there, makes it nine nine on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. You know we'll see what uh, you know if LCC can get it back. You know get it inside and stop taking a bunch of threes. But 
Angelo Collins down there working pretty hard. There's a great matchup out top. Carson Parker guarded out top by Alex Goldsberry. Boom! And there's another one. Take it home, coach. I mean, <laughs> two boom shakalakas in the first quarter. <laughs> 11 to 9, birds up two. There's Berkey from the left side. It comes off the mark. Here comes Willie Foster. He'll go to the middle of the floor. He takes it up. Pass goes in, and it's good. Jordan Pretty with the nice bunny shot to make it 13 to 9 with 3.39 to go. Coach, we got a track meet today. Well, this is the transition basketball that Coach Sean Powell likes. I mean, he likes, you know, speeding up defense, you know, so they take quick shots. And there's a nice dribble drive by Nick Pachon. I love to see kids, when their team's in a little bit of turmoil, get to the rim. Absolutely, and not settle. You sure. know, because settling's easy. You know, for Nick Pachon to get to the basket there, go to the rim when they need a good bucket. You know, as you said right now, LCC's kind of got the momentum. So Nick Pachon getting to the rim is, is a plus. And he misses the first one there. Tonight's free throw sponsor is the Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Coach, for a Thursday night, this, this is a nice crowd. This is a real nice crowd out here. It's a great crowd. Both yeah. communities coming together to support their school. So. Well, not only that, Coach, we got uh, coaches in front of us down here, Tyson McLaughlin and his staff from Ottawa Glandorf out here. They got the big game here Saturday night. So. A lot of people from the area out here watching good high school basketball. Well, if you think this is a good crowd, wait till Saturday <laughs> right. night against OG. Exactly. There's a three ball from the left, and it's good! Matthew Quatman, great <laughs> set shot. Had his feet ready, just catch, lock and load. Matthew Quabin knocks it in. He makes it 16 to 10 on the Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. And here comes Carson Parker as he gets the outlet pass. Pretty takes it in left handed and he scores! Jordan Pretty! And we got a timeout on the floor. Timeout on the floor means a timeout on the booth with 2.59 to go. Birds lead 18 10. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic, where uh, Coach Kill and I, uh, a little bit of fireworks, this is July 4th or what? I can't recall the last time I saw two dunks at an LCC game in the first quarter. I mean, Dantez Walton was electrifying, but to see two different guys from LCC to be able to do that, what a, what a fun game. Absolutely, so much momentum right now for the Birds. Here's Nick Pachon from the right side, and he knocks it down. Nick Pachon, the senior guard just stems the tide a little bit. They needed that, Coach, and it's 18-13. This is a great, great shot out of a timeout. You know, definitely what Shawnee needed. Our timeout sponsor tonight is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067. Nice great. drive by DeMar Foster there. Great, great job by DeMar. Just kind of gave him a jab fake to the middle and went baseline. Nice job. <laughs> what a steal there by number five for the Birds, DeMar Foster, as he runs the baseline, almost gets a steal, goes out of bounds, and go back to the Indians. Well, again, Coach Powell, you know, he emphasizes defense first. And so, you know, if you're not going to play defense, you're not going to play. Nice backdoor cut by Trevick Berkey, the 6'5 freshman. Is he a freshman, Coach? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> you know what? Trevick Berkey doesn't score a lot. I mean, only averaging about six points a game, but he does so much more as a facilitator, as a point guard. A six foot five point. I was just saying six foot five. <laughs> 2015 on the Leeds famous recipe scoreboard. Here come the birds as they try to add to that lead. This is Carson Parker guarded up by Dominic Lynch. Carson Parker, triple time. Carson Parker knocks it in and he makes it 23 15 on the Leeds scoreboard. And Coach Triplett is fired up. Oh, I'd be fired up too because hand down, man down. And you know, you're going to give a shot like that to Carson Parker, which is his energy, his emotions are flowing. He's going to take that every time. Coach, Carson Parker has meant so much to this program. He is such a workhorse inside and outside. Oh, I love him like a son. You know, he was always so good to me and my program and just me and my family. You know, I was able to coach with his dad, Troy Parker, for a while. And, you know, great kid. Here's Pat Sean for the Indians. He'll get it back out to Lynch. Lynch will set it back up. Lynch is guarded out top by Matthew Quatman. Pat Sean guarded by Burke. They'll swing it to the left side, looking to push the ball down to Berkey. Indians down 23-15 with 116 on the Leafs' famous recipe scoreboard. This is Lynch. He'll dribble drive, and the ball's stolen. Quatman with the ball. Bodies on the floor, and we're going to get a held ball. And possession arrow goes, let's see, back to Shawnee. You know, that's so unfortunate. Matthew Quatman did a great job of getting the steal, but, you know, before securing, he was taken off. It's almost like a, a receiver that he was right. taken off before he caught the ball. Max Goldsberry enters for the Indians, and for the Birds, it'll be number three, Parker Judy. 
the senior guard who averages 7.8. What a luxury to have a young man like Parker Judy come off the bench at eight he, points a game. He's a senior, but man, he's a three-point specialist. You know, he's, he's deadly from outside, and that's where he makes his that's where his bread and butter is. Absolutely. 23-15. We're under the minute mark here in the first quarter. Danny Hobart Frank kill from Lima Central Catholic High School. There's a nice dribble and drive. Ball goes off mark. Rebound comes down. It's going to be corralled by Matthew Quatman. They're going to say held ball. It'll go back to the T-Birds. Great job by Matthew Quatman. There were two black jerseys right there. He just found his way to get in it, wrap around it, kind of like a fumble, and he knew he was going to get wrapped up, but he was not going to give that back. And you saw Max Goldsberry commit the sin when he brought it down to his waist, and that's exactly what Matthew Quatman did. He came right into yep. it. Yep. You know, and I always tell my big guys, don't bring it below your waist because there's little guys down there just waiting <laughs> to take it from you. <laughs> Willie Foster will trigger the ball in. He'll get it over to DeMar Foster. 48 seconds to go. Birds lead 23-15. I knew we'd have points, but I didn't know we'd have points like this, Coach. Well, what a blessing to see <laughs> Willie and DeMar out there together, you know, being you know, big brother DeMar, Absolutely. little brother Willie. You know, it's, that's such, it's such a, these are memories that these two will be building for years. Same thing with the Berkey brothers, you know, and having their dad on the bench. Willie Foster out top. He's guarded by Dominic Lynch. Coach Powell just wanted to take the take the air out of the ball here. Both teams with only two fouls, so be ready for a foul from Shawnee. This is Foster with the ball. He'll dribble back over to the you know, Foster. We, you, on talked the right about, side. you talked about the strategies of the free throws. This is where a lot of times coaches yeah. like to kill the kill the clock. Almost a near steal by Dominic Lynch. You saw DeMar Foster tries to use his left hand to pass the ball over, and Dominic Lynch sticks his hand out. And the ball goes out of bounds and it'll go back to the T Birds. You know, Dominic Lynch and Beckham Brick are the only ones that have a foul, so everybody else out there on the floor can give one up if they want to kill clock again. Parker Judy will trigger the ball in. He'll go Foster on the right side. We're down to four seconds. Foster dribble drive, takes it in, and they're going to get Dominic Lynch on the foul, and they got away with one there. It looked like Foster may have walked a little bit there. Yeah, well, he was trying to do a little Euro kind of yes, step yes. through, but uh, Tate Bender obviously picked up the foul, so good for Dominic Lynch. Not, not creating the foul, but call was actually on the floor. Pretty triggers into shot goes up and it's off the mark. There you saw Carson Parker takes the three ball. So after one quarter of play from Lima Central Catholic Gymnasium, the T-Birds lead 23-15. We'll have second quarter action right after these messages. Back here at Edwards C. Her Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School. The Birds lead 23-15. And, Coach, how the Birds getting it done in the first quarter? Well, defensively, I think that's where it starts. You know, it, it turns it turns their defense into transition baskets. And, you know, you think about the timeout that Coach Triplett had to call because he, he didn't like the momentum that LCC was getting. But, you know, Dominic Lynch started off really strong for the Shawnee Indians. See if he can get some help from some other guys besides him. And if you remember back, it was 7-4 to four when LCC took the timeout. And since that time, my goodness, have they played good basketball. 21-8 run. Absolutely. Yeah, I was going to let you do the math, so I didn't screw <laughs> it up. <laughs> Here come the Indians down 23-15. Danny Holbrook, Frank Kill from Edward C. Hurd Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School. Big non-league action here between the Shawnee Indians and the LCC T-Birds. They try to push the ball down inside to Berkey. Well, nice. Great job. Great job by not fouling there. And the officials just kind of letting them play. But, you know, here's, here comes the T-Birds trying to do some transition. There's Foster on the dribble drive to the left. Nice. He scores to make it 25-15. DeMar Foster with the deuce. And he gives the Birds the 10-point lead with 7-12 to go in the half. Just a little bit of shake and bake to go full court. And there you see the dribble drive by number 23, Beckett Berkey. He's their leading scorer, Frank, at 21.4 a game. They've got to get him going tonight. Well, I think it has a lot to do with who's guarding. I know Carson Parker was one that really you know, challenges himself to be a defensive stopper when we've got a guy like Beckett Berkey. But um, you know, for Carson to be able to play smart, not have any fouls at this point, you know, it's going to take, take a lot of strength and resistance to stop Beckett Berkey because he's a really good scorer. So Berkey will try for the second one. He misses the first one. And he knocks that one in. Back at Berkey, one of two from the line. By the Makes way, my math was not very good. It was, <laughs> I think it was 19. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> we'll get people calling the Trust station. Trust me, everybody's going to be in talk. I didn't know how to do math. <laughs> you didn't teach math. I didn't teach math. 25-16, <laughs> Birds lead with 6.53 to go. And there you saw Pretty 
just looks like he slipped there a little bit. And they'll get the travel call and go back to the Indians. He had a great move to the basket. Unfortunately, when he went to push, he just slid right out underneath him. Yeah, but Jordan Pretty, you know, he's been kind of quiet this game. So he know. averages 14 a game. Right. Absolutely. 6.43 to go. Indians down 25-16. This is Pashon. He'll swing it around. They'll go three ball on the left side, and it's good. Max Goldsberry, the 6'2 junior, knocks in the triple, and he closes the gap at 25-19. You know, both those Goldsberries like to shoot the three, so you got to respect that. Here's Carson Parker from way downtown. Goes off the mark. Lynch with the rebound, but it's taken away by Pretty, and he scores, and he's going to the line the old-fashioned way. That's just brute strength, Coach. That's just brute strength. Brute strength and grit right there out of Jordan Pretty. I mean, he didn't give up on the play. Again, we talked about bringing the ball down. Jordan just grabs that ball, takes one dribble, and finishes around the rim and absorbs the contact. He doesn't avoid it. He just absorbs it and finishes around the rim. And that's exactly what Jordan Pretty does best. And I thought Dominic Lynch did a great job of securing the ball and putting Pretty on the opposite side of him, but Pretty just reaches around and gets a great grip on the ball. <laughs> and, a, <laughs> and, a missed, and a missed free throw with a put back by Billy Burke. <laughs> Coach Triplett is not happy. And it's 29-19 with 6.13 to go. We'll take a break. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School with 6.14 to go. The LCC Thunderbirds lead 29-19. Coach, look, right now it just looks like LCC's playing harder. And, well, I, and I'm not saying bad things about Shawnee, but LCC's really playing hard. Absolutely. And those are X factors. I always see X factors, loose balls, offensive rebounds. you got to secure the ball. When you get a chance to get a stop against a really good team, you got to take advantage of it. And right now, Shawnee has not been able to do that. So here's the end ends. There's a three ball from the left side. It goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Foster. Gets it back to Burke, and they'll swing it back to Foster, who'll bring it down. Great hustle by DeMar and recognizing where his safety net was in Billy Burke. Quatman's on the left side. Thought about taking the three. He gets it back to Foster. They'll go back to Quatman. Quatman looks down low to try to get Billy Burke in good position, but they'll swing it back around. This is pretty. Dribble drive down the baseline. Goes up. Shot goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the end ends. Great job by Shawnee, just walling up there, not reaching in, not trying to block the shot, but just absorbing it and just going walling up. Lynch will bring the ball up top. He's guarded by Quatman. He'll swing it over to Berkey. Berkey guarded by Carson Parker. What a matchup of two really good athletes. Goldsberry on the left, or the shooting to the right side. They'll go Tate Bender, who dribble drive to the right side, and he'll swing it back around, and Dominic Lynch will set it back up. 5-16 to go, Birds lead 29-19. Well, Shawnee's doing, they're doing a very good job of being patient, not forcing it, not settling. Three ball from the top of the key. Billy Burke will chase it down, and he'll get back to Foster. Ten-point lead still in hold with five minutes to go. Well, LCC's content with that shot, you know, in terms of a Absolutely. contested shot, yeah. but they're not doing a really good job of rebounding. Nice job there by Burke to slip down to the post. They'll swing it back out to Quamit. Off the mark, rebound comes down to Berkey, and that's where the Indians will set it back up on top of the key. You know, that was a really good shot by LCC. It went into the post. Billy Burke recognized that he was being doubled, kicked it out to a wide-open guard, Matthew Quatman, but just couldn't knock it down. Pat Sean is swinging around left side. They'll go Berkey on the low post. And that goes off. Of Bur oh, my goodness. They're going to say it goes back to Shawnee. I thought Berkey had knocked it over, but it looks like maybe Carson Parker got a hand in there. Well, unfortunately, the, the, the official was behind the play, <laughs> yes, so he, he couldn't really see it. Obviously, the side official is not going to overturn that, so good call by both officials by not, you know, kind of intervening there. 4.29 to go. LCC leads 29-19. Well, let's see, uh, see let's see if Shawnee can get a shot inside instead of just a contested three. Both Berkey boys are on the floor right now for Shawnee. Trevick was on the bench for a while. He's now back in the game for the Indians. Lynch being pressured by Quabbin. Lynch dribble drive to the right side, and the ball swatted away by number 23, Angelo Collins. You know, yeah. Dominic Lynch gave it up, got it right back, and just had to go to the rim. But, you know, Angel, Angel Collins did a better job of just blocking it out of bounds. Pashion will trigger the ball in underneath their basket. And Lynch tried to get it, and they're going to say he was fouled. He went up. It looked like he got bodied a little bit while he was in the air. Well, it, it always goes to the offense. That was kind of a 50-50 ball where, you know, Dominic Lynch is in the air, Matthew Quatman's underneath him. It's going to be a foul every time. 4.08 to play. But good, good foul on Quatman only because it was a it was a hustle foul. I mean, you can't you can't fault his effort. 
He'll swing it around the right left side. Berkey gets it back to Lynch. Lynch go back to Berkey on the right side. This is Pashon, three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. It's rebound came down to Quabbin. It got taken away, and the Indians put it back in. Dominic Lynch was Johnny on the spot. That was kind of a helter-skelter play, but it ended up in the Indians. Well, you know, he was right there when Carson Parker had the rebound, but Carson just turned right into the defender. Makes it 29-21. Shawnee down eight. They'll go back into the middle. Ball's deflected by Berkey. Berkey brings it down the left side. He's going to challenge Pretty, and Foster comes in and takes the ball away. Gets it to Pretty. Pretty outlets it up top to Carson Parker. Parker's going to take it in, and he's going to score. Carson Parker, the quarterback, looked like the running back there. Birds lead 31-21. Well, that, that was all started by DeMar Foster getting the steal and then getting it to the guy to hit the outlet to get Carson Parker streaking down the middle. Here comes the Indians again. Berkey with the ball. Dribble drives to the middle. He'll kick it back out. He'll go back out to Pashon. Pashon looks down low. He'll swing it back up to Berkey. You know, good defense by LCC right now. Just being patient, not being overexcited, overzealous here, trying to get another steal. Just, just making Shawnee work for their offense. They'll go back down low to Berkey. Berkey guarded by Carson Parker. He'll swing it three ball from the right side. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Angelo Collins. You know, good, as I said, Shawnee's just taking a bunch of threes. There's Quatman. This is off the mark. Rebound comes down to Berkey. So both teams trying to feel each other out. Shots not falling here in the last minute and a half. Indians still in this one, down 10. I think that was a decent shot by Matthew Quadman. It just unfortunately, there's no rebounders around to take to help him out. Dominic Lynch tried to split the double team there. Ball comes to Foster. Foster's going to take it up left-handed. Angelo Collins with the follow-up, and that's just hustle there, Coach. That is. 33-21. That was the X factor I was talking about. Offensive rebounds. Angelo just sprinting down the floor to follow up a miss just in case. 2.05 to go. LCC continues a 12-point lead. Shawnee trying to keep it close. LCC trying to stem that lead. The ball's going to go back to the birds. And this is a jeopardy position right here, Coach. You could be down 14 or 15 after this shot. Well, you know, right there, he kind of, he, he was cutting when he should have popped. You know, it was obviously miscommunication there by, by the Shawnee Indians, but you're right. If LCC comes down here and, and knocks down a big three or gets it in one or even just take, stretches it out to 14, you know, with two minutes to go, you know, this is crunch time that to go huge. into the halftime. Yeah. Foster's going to bring the ball down. He's guarded out top by Nick Pashon. Coach Powell's yelling out instructions. Well, with two minutes to go, actually now about a minute and a half, you know, they want to get a quality shot. Foster dribble drives to the right side. He's going to take the jumper. He knocks it in. Just a senior stepping up when you need to. Mark Foster, the senior guard with a little bit of a shake and bake, and he knocks down the 15-footer, and he makes it 35-21. This is Lynch for the Indians. The ball goes out of bounds, and now we're at 35-21 with 1.19 to go. The Indians desperately need some offensive help. You know, DeMar right now has got six points. I mean, he's, he's kind of feeling it. You could just see in his jump shot. He got good elevation there. And, you know, it was two years ago today that, uh, you know, DeMar tore his ACL for the first time. And really glad to see him back and, and have a uniform on and be a part. And he looks know. pretty good, Coach. He right. really does. Yep. <laughs> this is Berkey with the dribble drive. And Matthew Quatman, my goodness, Matthew Quatman has done so many things on the defensive end for this team tonight. He's been Charlie Hustle in my book. You know, he does all the little things that don't make the scorebook. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll go back to LCC with 1.08 to go. Danny Obert, Frank Kill from Edward E. Her Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic, where the Birds right now have a big 14-point lead with one minute to go here in the half. This half has just flown by. Well, that's good, because after the JV <laughs> game and going double overtime, yeah. we, we got we, a Browns we, I was game say, we, we got the Browns to. game we got to get there. Foster from way up top, and that ball goes off the mark. Angelo Collins runs it down, but he – Gets it knocked off his hands, or he lets it slip off his hands. Either way, it goes back to the Shawnee Indians. But that's, if that shot goes down and it, it hits 17 point, you know, deficit right now, tons of momentum for T-Birds. Now, now, right now, Shawnee's got a big, big job to do it and try to get a good basket to take their to take this, you know, deficit for sure. into the halftime as marginal as possible. So Lynch will bring it down to the right side. He'll get it over to Tate Bender. Bender will go back to Berkey. Berkey to Pashon on the left side. Pashon dribble drive right side. This is Lynch guarded up top by Quatman. We're down to 25 seconds. Bender drives the baseline, kicks it back out. Berkey pushes it down. 
And a nice white reverse layup, would you call that, Coach? Yeah, a little doopy <laughs> do right there. You Beckett know? Berkey, the 6'4 sophomore, knocks it in, and he makes it 35-23, and they needed that in the worst way. Definitely. That, that really helped them, you know, kind of do something. Now they got to get a defensive stop. Here's Foster. He'll dribble drive. 15-footer. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Lynch. He'll throw it up from three-quarters court, and it's off the mark. So after one half a play from Lima Central Catholic, the T-Birds take a 35-23 lead into the break. We'll have second half action right after these messages. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School, where after one half of play, the T-Birds lead the Shawnee Indians 35-23. Danny Homer, Frank Kill from Edwards C. Her Gymnasium. And coach, we take a look at the first half, and it's kind of cliche to say, but it was almost as if LCC played with a whole lot more intensity. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, from the start, you know, they came out just kind of, you know, they, with dictated, an attitude. they, dictated, yeah. they dictated the tone of the game, you know, with, with the defensive end, you know, with the traps, the, the, the good rebounds, the, the strong defense, and not bound. I think they ended up, I think they ended up having four fouls, and I know Willie Foster had two of those, so, you know, that's why you didn't see much of him, you know, at the end of the second quarter, but I really thought, you know, Shawnee responded a little bit after their timeouts because that's what you want. You want your team to respond. Now, can they come back out in the third quarter and respond in a different way? They're going to need to. And with Shawnee, Coach, it was almost as if they couldn't get a good – they had a 7-4 to four lead. LCC takes a timeout, and from that point on, it was almost like they couldn't get in a rhythm. Well, I think when Coach Powell called that timeout, he kind of lit the fire and said, hey, yeah, we got to wake up. You know, we're down 7-4. to four. It's time to go. And, and from that point on, you know, they finished the first quarter with the 23 – you know, after scoring 23 points, that is a 19-point run. You know, right. so, you know, they, they outscored Shawnee by four in the, in the second quarter, so – We'll see what happens in the second half. That's why you play four. It's a 12-point lead, but I'd stick around, folks, because this is going to be a dandy. I'm just about certain that Coach Triplett is going to get the Indians back in this one. So here come the birds. Dribble drive to Burke off the left side, and he scores. Billy Burke, the 6'5 senior, knocks it in. And there's a steal from Carson Parker. He's going to take a three from the left side, and he misses off the mark. Pretty with the rebound, and he knocks it in. And a 4-0 run to start the second half. Not the start you want from Shawnee, but great job on that last play. Willie Foster getting to the basket and seeing a wide open Billy Burke to the rim. And then Carson Parker coming up with a big steal, taking a three. Hey. What, he got nothing to lose. Dominic Lynch drives in on the right side. He's fouled by Carson Parker. Timeout. Oh, I think we got a, we got a timeout, timeout on the floor. Yeah, we'll yep. before the foul. So we'll take a timeout here in the booth with 7.21 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lima Central Catholic High School where the start of the second half has seen the Lima Central Catholic T-Birds start out 4-0 and Coach Triplett took a timeout and Frank, he is fired up. What I think he, you know, traveled down there and then so he takes the timeout. So, but we thought there was a foul. We did, yeah, right. You know, he takes a timeout, tries to light the fire. And there's Pretty from the outside and he knocks in the three ball and LCC's on a 7-0 run to start the second half. And that was right up, you know, Jordan Pretty's alley there because it was an in and out kick, you know, for a wide open three. So. Great 7-0 run by the LCC T-Birds. This is Pat Schoen on the right side. Indians down 42-23. Lynch goes back door to Pat Schoen. Ball goes awry. He corrals it. Go back inside to Goldsberry. He knocks in the deuce, making 42-25. Well, good job by Shawnee right there by hanging with it, not losing it. LCC had their fingers on it, but... You know, they, they needed that bucket there. Alex Goldsberry, 6'3 post. He's a big kid. He takes up a lot of space in there. Oh, yeah, wide body but a good body. You Absolutely. Know, he plays it well. Carson Parker off the mark. Rebound comes down, corralled by Berkey. He falls down. They're going to get him saying he stepped out of bounds. A collision, uh, not anybody's fault, but no. uh, Berkey goes out of bounds. No, it's, a, it's an unfortunate. I mean, you hate, you know, kid gets the rebound, trips and falls, so you get the rebound and a turnover. It's, it's terrible. So 6.18 to go. Birds up 42-23, or excuse me, 42-25. Foster up top, guarded by Pashon. Well, we'll see if they, uh, you know, keep keep attacking, get the ball to the rim. This is pretty dribble drive to the foul line. He'll kick it back out to Foster. 
Foster will go baseline, take it back up with the left hand, and he nice, nice little scoop shot. Nice. My goodness. There you saw the athleticism of DeMar Foster. Yeah, I mean, he just got to the rim and finished with his left, which was even you know nicer. There's a drive by Lynch, and they needed that in the worst way. Dominic Lynch with the dribble drive score, and he makes it 44-27 with 5.30 to go. Well, that's that's Dominic Lynch's, you know, 11th point, you know, for the Shawnee Indians, and he's carrying them right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Foster with the little bunny shot there. It goes off the mark, and the Indians bring it back down, trying to get back in this one. Lynch will go dribble drive to the right side, take it up, off the mark. Goldsberry tries to put it back up, and the rebound comes down to Carson Parker. He'll bring it down the right side. Sharing the ball right now for the T-Birds. <laughs> oh, my goodness. A three ball by Jordan Pretty. And he knocks it in to make it 47-27. Pretty's got 14 on the evening. He's got his average right now. Two back-to-back -back threes for him. You know, so he's feeling the, you're feeling the hot hand. Indians down 47-27. Shot goes up. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Foster. He'll outlet to Pretty. Pretty on the left side. And he's going to hammer Boom! it home. My goodness, Jordan Sakalaka. Pretty. That was effortless, Coach. That was absolutely effortless. I challenged him the other day. I said, I haven't seen one of your thunderous dunks yet. And he's like, I got one for you. That's three dunks by the birds tonight. They are flying high. By three different kids, too. So, <laughs> yeah, But it's all in transition. Absolutely. You know, right, right exactly what LCC wants to do. And, and they have a 22-point lead right now. There's Berkey. And Berkey falling down, knocks it in. There you saw the athleticism of Beckett Berkey, the 6'4 sophomore, falling down, knocks it in, makes it 49-29. Shot goes off the mark by Carson Parker. This is Lynch brings it down, guarded by Pretty. 5 on 4 right now. lcc has got to play some transition defense to... And Passion's going to get called to the travel. So a bucket there by Passion would have closed this to under 20, but he gets called for the travel. And Shawnee coach just made five player substitution. Coach Triplett, yeah, he's got five new players, correct? Yeah. 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 And I think, you know, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of like a line change, but, you know, he's kind of over there on the bench. You know, he's, he's got, you know, guys, we got to wake up. We're not playing to our potential right now. I know Shawnee's not playing to their potential. No, absolutely not. But does it have a lot to do with what else he's trying to dictate? <laughs> you saw it, folks. Willie Foster goes up and under and scores the bucket. He's got seven on the night for the Birds. I mean, he split three guys right there. You know, but there's, there's a nice drive there. Tate Bender there just taking it right at him. Tate Bender takes it up from the left side. He makes it 51-31. So Coach Triplett looking for anything from his reserves right now. This is Pretty from the right side, and he knocks it in. Jordan Pretty is on fire. He's got 19 to lead all scores, and there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 3.30 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back here at Edward C. Her Gymnasium on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School where with 3.30 to go in the third quarter, the Lima Central Catholic T-Birds are flying high as they lead 54-31. They're getting it done on both ends of the court, Coach. Both ends. You know, and it's just in transition basketball where they're, you know, they're going down and capitalizing on everything. And then that play right there that where, where Jordan Pretty was wide open on the three, no one guarded him. And here the Indians have five new players on the floor right now trying to get anything to work. Tate Bender with the ball. He'll swing it back over to Max Goldsberry. Max Goldsberry gets it back to Jack Fishbaugh. Also in the game, Matthew Stiles for the Indians. Sony's, I mean, they got their five guys out there that hadn't really played a lot. Goldsberry from the top of the key goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Foster. Foster will go left side. He just takes it in with the left hand. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. This is Damalo Ojo. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor, get it off to the right side. He'll swing it over to Matthew Stiles. Stiles looks down to Ojo. Ojo guarded out top, and the Indians will set it back up. Well, if you look at the scores table right now, you know the Indians got their five players ready to go back in and see if they can you know, get a spark. Max Goldberry with a nice dribble drive as he cuts the lead to 54 to 33. Jordan. You might want to get a hand in that kid's face. Jordan Pretty misses a three. I, I'm kind of in a shock. That was I, heat check. <laughs> yes, it was. That was way off the left side. He was almost on the bench over by Coach Powell. Oh, he was taking that no matter what. <laughs> Coach Powell, I'm sure he didn't have a problem with it, the way he's played tonight. So here's Goldberry with the ball up top. He'll swing it over to Ojo on the right side. 
Oh, he Joe said Gardner. early in the first quarter that he was kind of quiet, but boy, he's really inserted himself. There you saw the dribble drive by Tate Bender as he tries to go up with his left hand. He'll get fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. You know, that's just a terrible foul from the LCC standpoint because Tate Bender really didn't have a prayer there. But, you know, LCC's contact body, that, you know, he just threw it up and got the call. Coach, you never want to look farther than the game you're playing. But, it, look, it's inevitable. There's a lot of people, including you and I, during the commercial talking about the game Saturday night. That's going to be a big one. Oh, a big game. You know, LCC and OG both undefeated coming here. It's always been a heated, contested matchup. You know, unfortunately this year, LCC's in D4. OG's in D3. When I say unfortunately, they're not going to be able to meet sure, the district sure. game anymore. That was kind of always one of those prequels to what potentially could be down the road. It's always a big game. No matter what the records, it's always a competitive big game. This place will be back Saturday night. Oh, most definitely. And it, by the JV game. Because <laughs> right. Ottawa fans are great. They come, they travel, they That's support right. their team. And I always told our JV kids, be prepared for a really good crowd. <laughs> Speaking of JV, the JV contest tonight was won by LCC 31 to 30 in double overtime. Double overtime, the young birds get the win. One was a great win for the LCC. <laughs> good win for us too. <laughs> That's right. There's Foster with a left-handed drive and he knocks it in. You're kidding me, Damar Foster, the senior guard takes it up with his left hand and he makes it 56-35 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. You know, Demar's got 10 points, and that, that was a great shot by Demar. You know, finishing with his left. This is Passion swinging back over to Berkey. Berkey swings it over to Lynch, and it goes out of bounds. Well, that was all created by Parker Judy being in the passing lane, which took away you know Dominic Lynch's vision to catch that ball. Our timeout sponsor tonight is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Metzger Financial, our timeout sponsor. So we're down to almost one minute here. This is Foster from the free throw line. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Berkey. He gets it over to the younger Berkey. They'll go down the right side, down 56-34. Dribble drive, foul line jumper, and he knocks it in. There you saw Beckett Berkey, the 6'4 forward, showing all his moves on display there. You know, he's got nine right now, and that's a, it's a, good, you know, it's a good sign for... Nice little dump pass in. Got kind of caught up in my words there because I'm watching the game and I'm seeing Carson pass it to Parker Judy. Parker Judy scores and he makes it 58-37. Pass on from the right side. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down and it's brought in by number 14, Billy Burke. Well, yep. Billy's doing a great job yeah. of controlling the boards. Foster with the dribble drive off the left side. The ball goes off the mark. This is Berkey, he'll bring it down. He's guarded by Carson Parker. Parker gets screened by Lynch. Berkey gets the jumper off. The rebound comes down to the Birds. Outlet pass to Carson Parker. He's going to challenge Lynch straight up, and the ball goes off the mark. He was going to dunk that one, Coach. <laughs> he was going to try to. You know, him and Dominic have a love-hate relationship. When I say love-hate, more love than any hate, but because Dominic and, and Carson are their buddies. Sure. And if Carson could get a dunk and one on Dominic Lynch, he would have that posterized, put it in his bedroom. Look, look when I said Carson Parker was going to challenge him, I didn't know he was going to try to dunk it. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parker knocks in the first free throw. Our free throw spot. Sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lyman and Bluffton. But there you saw the athleticism, Coach. That, that's just unbelievable. Well, you know, Carson's just getting now back his, his basketball Basketball leg. shape, you know, he, right. He was in football mode for a long time, and, you know, they're going to need him down the stretch. That ball goes off the mark. Lynch will bring it down the middle of the floor. He'll hand off to Passion. Matthew Quatman, nice job. Uh -oh. Parker gets a steal. He'll go Flight to the right two, side. Going up. Oh, oh, behind the back my. to Quatman. Oh. And did they? No, they did not count it. After three quarters of play from Lima Central Catholic, the T-Birds are flying high, and they lead 59-37 right here on WOSN. Welcome back to the start of the fourth quarter here on the campus of Lima Central Catholic High School. The Birds lead 59-37, and they were really getting after that quarter, Coach. Well, you think they, they came out with a 7-0 run, and then they, you know, they finished the quarter winning that quarter by 10, 24-14. You know, T-Birds just really dictating and dominating every aspect of that quarter. You know, obviously, if Carson Parker knew how much time went, he would have shot that layup there to, to finish <laughs> exactly. the third. It was pretty to watch, though. I'll be honest with yes, you, behind it was. the mask. <laughs> but it just shows you the character of Carson Parker sure. kind of giving some love to some other guys. Coach, when you when you go to a 
when you're down, you know, a score like 59-37, and you go to a third quarter break, you're coming out for the final quarter, what are you telling your kids? And, and look, I know you're going to tell them we're not giving up, we're going to play hard, but there's got to be a little bit of strategy to do something to get back in the game. Well, I think the first thing you talked about was the effort because it's very easy to throw in the towel. I mean, they're kids. And, you know, knowing Coach Triplett, he's not going to let them quit. I mean, he, he pulled them out, you know, kind of woke them up a little bit. Now's your time. Go out and win this quarter. See what you can do this quarter. Forget about the first three. But if you're Coach Powell, keep, that was your, foot my next your, keep your yep. foot on the pedal and do not let up. So he knocks into it, make it 59-39. For Burke will get the ball, and he'll swing it over to Foster. Foster on the right side. I thought about taking the three. They'll get it to Pretty on the right side. And he knocks it in. Wowza, wowza, Jordan. Pretty knocks in the triple. He's got 19 on the night. Make it 62-39. You know, that, that, that just shows Willie Foster, like, could have taken the three, but gave it up, you know, to a, a wide-open Jordan Pretty. So, you know, LCC keeps knocking down shots like that. They're going to be really tough to beat. Well, you know, Coach, we talk about what it takes to, to go far. Now, and look, tournament trail's a long way away. But what they've got in guard play is really essential in winning basketball games. Well, you need good guard play. You know, I, I always say guard play takes you a long way. Sure. But the fact that they're playing really good defense right now. I know Coach Powell's looking up there going, gosh, we've given up 41 points. <laughs> but you've also average. scored 62. <laughs> right. You know, so the way that they transition back and forth, they're going to be able to give up some points. But, you know, they're winning by 21 right now, and you know I know he's gonna he's gonna emphasize you know how did we give up so many points? Sure, sure. Berkey knocks that one in to make it 62-42 with 7:15 to go. Foster yep. will bring it down the left side. LCC is gonna keep running their offense here, trying to you know do some good things. Love the fact that they're up 20 and they're still attacking the rim. We used to talk about when I coached about, I want to, I want to have 10, 12, 15 more free throws than you do. And the only way we can do that is getting contact at the rim. Right, you know, and, and unfortunately for, for uh, Shawnee, you know, that's Dominic Lynch's fourth foul. And, you know, you take your guy that's on the floor, your leading scorer as of right, right. now, you know, off the floor. But I think Coach Triplett's going to let him play it out. Dominic Lynch has had a nice night. He averages 11.3 a game. He's at 13. Berkey has 12 for the Indians. Not much else in the terms of scoring for the Indians. It's 64-42 with seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. You know, we, you know, I talked earlier between Lynch and uh, and Berkey. They're going to have to find some help, you know, to get some scoring from somebody else. And there you saw the ball goes out of bounds as well, I think Tate Matthew Bender, Botman yeah. deflected it. But I'm not sure each official was in position yeah. to see it, the deflection. <laughs> and I think Coach Triplett's letting him know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a nice steal by the Indians, but it'll go back to the Birds. Foster brings it down the floor, and that's where he'll set it back up. Yeah, yeah. He, Coach Powell wants them to work their offense, but he doesn't want them just to, to take away the, you know, the, the, the momentum that they got right now. Matthew Klopman will fire the three away from the top and go off the mark. Berkey tried to corral, and it goes off his hands, and it'll go back to Lima Central Cap. Well, that had a lot to do with Billy Burke coming over, you know, creating some, you know, contact there, and it just went right off of Shawnee's hands. Carson Parker gets a much-needed break for the Birds over there. Well, and if I know Coach Bow, he's going to start getting some guys in the game here, you know, being up 20, but he wants his guys to still play. They'll go Angelo Collins down on the low post. Nice little turnaround, fires it up, and it goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Lynch, 6.19 to go. Danny Hilbert, Frank Gill from Lima Central Catholic High School, where it's all LCC tonight in this non-league matchup with the Shawnee Indians. There's a nice behind-the-back move by Berkey. <laughs> Matthew Cropman got over reach. Oh, and a two-shot foul. You know, Berkey's going to he's going to try to get it inside, but, you know, Shawnee's going to keep attacking. Oh, absolutely. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. So Carson Parker will check back in for the Birds. Billy Burke will take a break. You know, leading the way right now with Jordan Pretty. You know, he's got 22 points. I mean, he's made some big shots. He's got four threes on the game, and, you know, they're going to continue to keep attacking. Yeah, and Coach, this is my first time getting to see him play, and he is really smooth. He, he does it on both ends of the floor. Matthew Quapman will take it in on the right side. He scores the bucket. Great assist on the play by Carson Parker, just to get, sitting a wide-open guy up, you know, for an easy layup for Matthew Quapman. Back to what I was saying about Pretty, he it looks effortless. His, his jump shot is really nice. He gets to the rim. 
rim. He flows with the offense. He's really impressive. Well, he puts a lot of time and effort into his craft. I mean, after every girls game, you know, that I've been to, he's in here waiting to set up the gun, you know, to get extra shots up. 5.49 to go. Birds up 66-42. Here comes Carson Parker. He'll take it down the middle. Good with Matthew Quatman. Quatman misses the five-foot jumper. Not happy with himself there. Well, he stepped away from the basket. He did. Oh, Tate Bender with a nice move. Bender drives it in from the right side. And he cuts the lead to 66-44. Tate Bender knocks it in. Ball gets pushed back onto the other side. Crowd by Angelo Collins. Well, Angelo did a really good job of just getting the ball up the floor. Jordan Pretty with the 12-foot shot off the mark. Rebound comes down to Collins. Nice job by Angelo Collins. Good offensive rebound with a really good power dribble to the other side of the rim to go up and, and score. That, that great job by Angelo you know, the, being around the rim. The stat sheet says he's six foot, Coach. He looks bigger than six foot. I'm telling you. He's about 6'3". <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I've never seen a stat sheet that had less inches than what they are. No, he, he's definitely... <laughs> He had even longer hair and looked about 6'5", but he cut it. Now he's definitely about 6'3". <laughs> this is Foster from the left side. Thought about taking the shot. Guarded by Tate Mender. They'll go back to Carson Parker. Well, four-plus minutes left. They're just working clock right now, getting pretty much any shot they want. Rebound comes down to Berkey with 4.30 to play in the game. Birds lead 68-44. Nice steal uh -oh. by Foster. He's Flight one, one. <laughs> take off. Oh, oh, left handed way. You wanted the dunk, he coach. He did. <laughs> I know he's incapable of doing that, too. <laughs> There's a three ball from the left side, and it's good. Max Goldsberry, the 6'2 junior, knocks in the triple. Make it 70 47. Goldsberry's got eight on the evening. Oh, great shot by Max. I, mean, I believe that's his second three, so, you know, good job for him. Jordan Pretty from the right side, and it's pretty. It's real pretty. Jordan's got 22, or excuse me, 25 on the night, make it 73-47 just with 3.56 to go. Coach, well, here we are. Here we are at the Christmas break. You saw several teams play. What's your observation about basketball right now in Northwest Ohio? Well, you know, I've seen LCC. This is my fifth time this year. <laughs> you know, they are one of the better teams in the area. I think Lima Senior's got some really good, you know, young studs over there that, that are playing well. Cannot wait for Saturday to see OG and Colin White and Erford, you know, coming into town. So basketball around here, I mean, it's good. And, it's only going to get better because you see a lot of young kids playing. And you say Saturday night, Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. So the varsity no. game will start around 4 o'clock Saturday. So if you're coming out, don't forget that. Should be a great atmosphere as Coach Kill talks about the OG Titans and the LCC T-Birds. Well, I said it earlier. Coach Powell is going to get, his, get some of his other guys in to get some varsity minutes. So you got five guys out there for, for both teams, you know, um, that are trying to – and are trying to really get some minutes to show that each coach, whether it's Coach Triplett, Coach Powell, saying, hey, you know, I could play at the varsity level too, so give me an opportunity. So we're down 3.18 to go. Birds lead 73-47. But this is a good opportunity for, for all these young kids that don't get a lot of varsity time to kind of showcase sure, their absolutely. skills. Absolutely. Rebound comes down to the Birds. This is number 13, Camilio Bustos. He's in the game right now for the Birds. Thought about taking the three. Take the shot, young man. Oh, now's your time. <laughs> Absolutely. One shiny moment. This is your moment. <laughs> also in the game, Malachi Talbert for LCC. This is Collins. Dribble drive to the right side. And that nice. That's a big boy move, Coach. That's a big boy move. A year ago, that kid would have shot that 15-footer. But he took a one dribble and two dribble, just got to the rim and finished. And that's his bread and butter. You know, I, take advantage of your size. I really like his game, Coach. He really is a nice piece to this puzzle. Oh, he, he's great at it, but, you know, minutes off the bench, gives good energy, good attitude. There's a three ball from the top of the key by Pashon that goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Birds. This is Drew Pest, excuse me, Drew Pester on the rebound. He'll bring it down. You know, now's the time each kid wants a piece of, piece of the pie. So they're doing a really good job of sharing the ball. I want to get these kids some recognition. I want to get their names straight. <laughs> these kids deserve their recognition, too. Nice Malachi rebound. Malachi Talbert with a good rebound. Malachi Talbert. There's a three ball from the left side. It's off the mark. I thought that was down almost in the bucket. Well, Parker Judy can knock those down in his sleep. I, I've seen it before. I mean, the first time they played him, he had two threes. So he's definitely a kid that could stroke it. Here's Tate Mender with the ball out top and just a change of uh, 
change of players here. No timeout on the floor. They'll just stop play with 1.46 to go. What I love is the fact that, you know, you, you can take the kind of the substitution timeout. You don't have to take a full timeout. Just get the kids in. Let's go. And, you know, Absolutely. minute 46. Sure. As you see, most of the fans are, are heading towards the door. Well, 146 to go. This one's pretty much in the bag for LCC. Let's talk a little bit about Saturday night. Who do you like? What, what do you see happening? you got Carson Parker for the Birds. You've got Colin White for the OG Titans, and we can talk all day about it. Well, I mean, obviously I like the Birds. My heart's where, you know, where it's at. But, <laughs> sure. you know, both teams are going to be up for it. And, and the fact that you have a Division One athlete like Colin White headed to Ohio State, it's going to be a big game, great crowd, great atmosphere but a good kind of a tournament game it, you're right at you're the end of December right. to you know to, hey let's let's get ready oh and a nice move there by number 12 Damalo Ojo for the Indians and he misses the shot but a nice job there's a three ball from the top of the key off the mark rebound comes down to the Indians 108 to go you know how about this each team right now Shawnee with one foul LCC with three you know we're not even in the bonus, sure. even if you had both of them up. So, you know, really clean game by it, both it, teams. You know, officiating was great tonight. Um, each team kept it clean, but just played smart. You know, obviously, if you're Coach Triplett right now, hey, you got you got another chance. Regroup. And you'll come back later and, and, and play, you know, start 24 off sure, on, on another absolutely. note next Friday you know, on WBL action. So the Birds will stay out top on this one up 75-47. Busto showing a little bit of dribbling, uh, showcasing his skills out there. Nice layup there by number 12, Damalo Ojo for the Indians, the 6'3 forward. Damalo Makes Ojo, it. he's very athletic. Yes, I've watched he is. him before, you know. Good, you know, good athlete out there. Makes it 75-49. Look, coach, you know, the Indians are gonna take a loss here. They're gonna fall to five and four. Still one and oh in the WBL, still plenty of time. They're gonna have a nice season. They're too well coached, they've got good athletes. They're pretty young though. They're very young. I mean, when you have two kids out there that are freshmen, sophomores, playing with a few seniors, you're going to have your ups and downs. And the way that Coach Triplett, you know, schedules his schedule, he plays no cupcakes. So, you know, he, he wants to play the best because he wants to be the best. Absolutely. So the Birds will hold it with 10 seconds to go. They'll win this one flying away, 75-49. You know, great win for the T-Birds. You know, good test for them, you know, to get ready for OG on Saturday. Looking forward to it. Shawnee Indians fall to the LCC T-Birds 75-49. LCC will move to 6-0. and They'll take on Ottawa Glandorf Saturday night in a non-league showdown. Going to be a packed house. You'll be here. I'll be here. Everybody's going to be here. Well, if you don't have a ticket, you can always tune them to WSN. Right. And, you know, hey, watch it there. Listen to the radio. I'm sure it's going to be broadcasted everywhere. Because this is going to be a big game again. Get your ticket. Now's the time because both these teams, both these teams on Saturday, are going to want to win Absolutely. more than anything in the world. Frank, great job, great working with you tonight. Fantastic job for Frank Kill. I'm Danny Holbrook. Our final score from Lima Central Catholic: the T-Birds win this one, 75-49. We'll see you next week on WOSN. <laughs>